this right here you don't have to do it it's optional but under certain conditions this new thing I'm gonna teach you here is pretty simple it'll save you time and aggravation and frustration let's review once again broadly if you have a machine like an infusion controller infusion pump a syringe pump any electronic device with which you're giving an IV you have to calculate the milliliters per hour and program that into the machine if you don't have a machine you have to somehow calculate the drops per minute and count drops per minute watch a little drip chamber and get your watch Go one two three and the way I taught this was with this formula which as I've said before and I'll say it again has been around since before they invented calculators because it's fairly simple math now the way I taught that was V is a number of milliliters per hour again if you have a machine infusion pump etc you have to find that out or know that and that's what you plug into the machine that's your final answer but without a machine that's your starting point so either type of IV problem you have to know the milliliters per hour and that goes there the T you better remember this it's always the number 60 because it's the number of minutes there are in an hour that never changes the C, it stands for calibration, but that's the drop factor. It's how many drops there are to fill up one milliliter, drops per milliliter, number like 10 or maybe 12, sometimes 15, 20, or 60, the micro drop. And you get the answer. So it's just this divided by this times this, and that's the answer. Let me refresh your memory. Let's say you're told a thousand milliliters of IV fluid to give in 10 hours. Well, I gotta first find V. I'll take a thousand. Divide by 10, come on, that's 100. And so you take the number 100. And divide by, that's always the number 60. And then the drop factor, well, I tell you, 15 drops per milliliter. So that's 15. And the way I taught this is don't do this times this divided by this, or don't do this divided by this times this. This number here is going to always cancel this number 60 out with a whole number. In this case, 4. And in your head, it's in my head, hope your head, 100 divided by 4 is 25. That's the answer. Answer is 25 drops per minute. Well, that's pretty simple. In fact, in some times, some cases, you'll be given the V. Now, in this case, you had to divide this out yourself and find V. You may be told what V is. But here's the one that's a little bit harder. If you have these infusion uh, so that says syringe pumps, part of it, syringe pumps. They use a small amount of medicine in some short length of time. So I'm going to give 35 milliliters of this medicine in 25 minutes. Well, let's still do it this way. Okay. But I got, remember this, let's do some uh, air math. There's air guitars, there's air quotes. Here's some air math. You got to take the 35 milliliters, divide by 25 minutes. But then if you divide that out, that's going to be a little tiny number, but that's how many milliliters per minute. You then have to multiply by 60 to convert milliliters per minute into milliliters per hour. Now, this is a review. It should be. You went over this a few weeks ago. This is not brand new stuff. If it is, you hadn't watched those previous videos. Shame on you. So that's a review. You should know what I'm talking about at this point. The milliliters divided by the minutes then multiply by 60 to convert that to milliliters per hour. Then you put that here as milliliters per hour. And you're told this, the drop factor that goes here, that's 60. Let's work the problem out just to prove something to you. To show it's kind of goofy doing it this way. Kind of hard. So I take 35 milliliters. I divide by the 25 minutes. 1.4. But then that's milliliters per minute. Uh, now multiply that times 60. Well, that's 84. That's not the answer. That's 84 milliliters per hour. That's V. So 84 is V. Over what's T going to be? Well, always 60. The calibration is 20. In this case, of course, 20 goes into 60 three times. So I'll take 84 divided by 3, and the answer is 28. There's my answer. 
but that took some time. So here is the better way. And here's why and when and all the wherefores. The same formula I can use in a slightly different way. Hmm, a major different way. If you have less than one hour. I'm going to say all this over and over again. If it's more than one hour, use it the way I taught earlier. Where that's milliliters per hour and that's the number 60. And blah, blah, blah. But if it's less than one hour, it's quicker to do it this way. Where V is the total volume in milliliters. And T is the total time in minutes, not 60. Well, let's see what we do here. Oh, this is so, I love this, so great. Okay. What's the total volume mil in vo What's the total volume in milliliters? 35. 35. Okay. What's the total time in minutes? 25. And now time C. What's the drop factor? 20. That's always given to you. Now all I do is 35. Divided by 25 times 20. The answer is, oh, I've already got the answer, 28. Now, wasn't that quicker? I'm going to show it all again, but you could have done 35 times 20 divided by 25. Either one of those is fine. But that's much quicker because you're eliminating some steps. What you would have done before was, you can take the 35, divide by 25 times 60, then do that is the... T or the V, then divide by C. Okay. That's quicker. The total volume in milliliters goes here. The total time in minutes goes here. And the drop factor goes here. It's this times this, divide by this, and that's all. Now, the caution is this. Don't try to mix and match the two ways to do this formula. If you put this as total volume in milliliters, that's not 60. That's some other number like this. Don't try to mix them up and confuse them. So I would highly recommend if it's less than one hour, which it is here. You do it this way, it's quicker, a lot quicker. Now in the one next video, there's only one left probably, unless I think of something else, I'm going to do a couple of these with that old junk on here to get in the way just to get the practice down. But that's much easier, much easier. You agree, don't you? Yes, you do. Now, what's the, wait, 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 wait. Before I go, you could do this that same way, but it's clunkier and more time consuming. What if you want to do this this way? What's the total volume in milliliters? Well, a thousand. Okay, that's a thousand. Okay. But now, what's the total time in minutes? Well, let's see. Ooh, 10 hours and there's 60 minutes in there. That's what, 600 minutes and put that? Well, you could do it that way. It's just kind of goofy. I'd recommend if it's more than you know, one hour or more, you do it using this method. If it's less than one hour, you're told the minutes, you do it this way. And everything is great. And your life is simpler. And there's going to be butterflies and unicorns and everything's wonderful.